Have you ever wondered about how public administration and the Philippines have formed into theory and practice? Or have you ever thought of the foundations of public service here in the Philippines? Well, today we're going to give you a starter on the definitions of public administration as according to famous Filipino political scientist, the emergence of public administration here in the Philippines, and its significance in our society. My name is Kyla Tungpalan, and this is Theory and Practice on Philippine Public Administration in 3 Minutes. Administer came from the Latin word ad administrare, which means to serve or to manage. From this, we take the meaning of administration, which is management of affairs, may be public or private. But since we are specifically talking about public administration, let's take a look at how it is defined by other important personalities in this field. In 1887, Woodrow Wilson wrote, Public administration is a detailed and systematic application of law. Another definition from a broader view rather than a traditional one was given as according to Willow, public administration in the broadest sense denotes the work involved in the actual conduct of governmental affairs and in narrowest senses denotes the operations of the administrative branch only. Two of the most famous Filipino political scientists have theorized about the Philippine public administration. Let's take a look at what Crystal has to say. All right. So as proposed by Alex Brillantes and Marisol Fernandez, Philippine public administration will operate as long as institutions which addresses specific sectoral concerns exist. Hence, there is a massive role of bureaucracy and the presence of three major institutions, which are education, politics, and the government. Meanwhile, in 1950, public administration was introduced as an intellectual discipline meaning it can be taught in universities and colleges. While in 1952, public administration at the University of the Philippines was established with the Americans in order to strengthen Philippine public administration as a field of study. Thanks, Crystal. Finally, let's talk about why this is important. First, this helps us understand the importance of leadership and governance. Second, it helps us connect different global perceptions of development in today's contemporary era. And lastly, it provides solutions on how to improve the competency and efficiency of public administration here in our country. And there you have it, theory and practice in Philippine public administration in three minutes. 